Well, the National Intel Science Talent Search is one of America's oldest, most highly regarded pre-college science competition. And this year, one of our very own local students is one of the 40 finalists in this prestigious competition. Shivani Sood joins us now via satellite from Washington, D.C. Hey, Shivani, thanks for talking with us. Glad to be with you. So what is the competition all about, and how did you get involved? Well, the competition is all about finding the future scientists of America. Here at Judging, they've looked at our projects, and they're also asking us questions about biology, chemistry, physics, really just a chance to figure out how we think and what our potential is as scientists and mathematicians. What's your project that you did? So my project is about colon cancer, specifically early stage colon cancer. Right now in the clinic, even after we treat patients, a very high percentage of them develop cancer again. But we really don't have a way to tell who's most likely to develop that cancer a second time. So I tried to go straight to the genetics and see if I could develop a predictor that would tell me who's most likely to relapse and even further how we can treat them. So it's very individualized therapy because you're looking at one individual patient and which treatment is best for them. And because we're being proactive, we're shifting the conversation from chemotherapy, which is after the fact, to before the fact, chemo prevention. You're how old, Shivani? I'm 17. Okay, you're 17, and we're hearing you talk about all this as if you've, you know, been working in this field for years. How did you get so much background here? And had, what sort of, what made you be involved in science like this at such an early age? Well, I specifically got interested in cancer. I had an immediate family member who was diagnosed with a brain tumor, and that's what kind of triggered a spark in me. And I know that the doctors helped to save my family member, and I really want a chance to return that favor to someone else so that they can pursue their dreams. So I got involved with different research programs. I started off at Temple University in Philadelphia, then I spent a, na a summer at the National Cancer Institute in Bethesda, and now I'm at Duke. Good for you. Now, we should tell people at home, this is a competition. The grand prize winner will win $100,000 in scholarships for school. But everyone who's there, all of you will get, you know, some, some I think it's $5,000 is the, is the lowest amount. That, so all of you come away with some scholarship money. Any idea where you want to spend that money, Shivani? Where, do you, where are you looking at schools? Well, I'm not sure as yet. I still have two schools to hear back from, so I guess I'll lay out all my options and then I'll go from there. Can you give us a hint? Oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, how's your competition looking? I mean, you certainly have an, a, an impressive project. What are some things that the other kids down there are working on? So there are a lot of projects that deal with computer science. There's some other projects that look at cancer, and they're looking at breast cancer, maybe which chemicals that we actually eat have an impact on those cancers. There have been a lot of computer science problems, a lot of theoretical math problems, so just a wide variety of science and so many talented individuals here. And what's the feel like among you guys? You know, you're all the same age, you're all there competing for the same prize, but I would imagine that it's, it's kind of nice and you get a little bit of a social aspect there too. Is it all competition or are you guys having fun getting to know each other too? No, it's not all competition. It's kind of nice because when we get challenging questions from the judges, we all kind of come together and we kind of converse with each other, figure out, you know, all the questions that we missed. So it's really been great. We've only been here for a few days, but we feel like we've known each other for so long. And it's really nice to see someone else who has the same interests and passions as you. I'll bet. And, you know, you're also well-rounded. I was reading a lot of the bios online. And you guys are not only good, you know, great students. You're really well-rounded in other areas. What are some things that you do outside of science? Well, one of my favorites is the Youth Legislative Assembly. They actually met this past week, and unfortunately, I couldn't be there. They're a body of about 300 students, and they debated a wide array of, um, of legislative bills. And that final report will actually be going out to the General Assembly later this year. So that's a very large passion of mine, getting youth involved and making sure that we have a say in our communities through the Youth Council, through Youth Legislative Assembly, Teen Court, and, of course, volunteer work with the Durham Rescue Mission. Well, then something you must be very excited about here coming up. I understand they have some pretty cool uh, field trips planned for you guys. You're going to meet some VIPs. Tell us about that. Well, we're actually going to meet the president today, so I guess that's one of the biggest VIPs on Capitol <laughs> Hill. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have a chance to meet some of my senators and my congressmen, just the chance to kind of talk with them about what's going on for our areas and share my research with them and really what the youth are interested in in North Carolina. Very exciting. Now, Shivani, before we go, what, what do you recommend for younger kids who are involved in science, who are good in, in science and want to sort of, you know, invest in that interest as they get older? Well, I would encourage them to never let go of their dreams. Um, science sometimes becomes a very rigorous field when you're being judged. There's sometimes when you feel let down. But the biggest thing is to remember that you're in it for the science. You're in it because you're curious. Just maintain that drive. If you ever have a question, don't be afraid to pursue it. And that would be my greatest advice to them.
Great advice, Shivani. You're, you're not only great in science and obviously tons of other things, you're also very well spoken. You're a pleasure to talk with. Thank you so much for talking with us. We're very Thank proud you so of you. Thank you so much for having me. Will you come talk with us when you get home so we can see what the results are? Oh, definitely. Were? Okay, definitely. great. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks, guys, for tuning in.